Right then, um, I'm just recording this video to give you a walkthrough of the new features, the functions and just generally how to, to get by using the, the Poisson distribution pack and calculators as it is at the moment because I've made quite a lot of changes today. Um, I've written in the blog post or in the, in the email how to do it but I thought it might be easier to go through and just give you a little visual um, demonstration. Apologies for any um, mistakes and misspoken words. I'm pretty knackered. It's midnight at the moment on Sunday night, but I, I just it's been bothering me that this hasn't been how I want it to be. In the email, you'll see that I'm I'm looking to get it actually overhauled and to pay somebody to sort of smarten it up if necessary. But we'll see how that goes. I'm I'm happy with it at the moment of um, user user friendliness. I I think it it works well. It's just knowing what's going on. So let's have a look. So we've now got three tabs for each um, league. As you can see, I've highlighted in blue and green alternative colours so that you can sort of know where you're at. Um, so we've got the data tab first, which you don't need to worry about this. This is what I update daily, um, which drives the Poisson distribution model. So you don't need to worry about that. It's locked for you to mess with just because I don't, don't want you accidentally changing it. Um, so then we've got the Poisson tab, which is the first place where you're going to need to get involved. Um, a couple of users asked for it to be the conditional formatting to be changed so that it's easier to see the top five scores. So I've done that now. We've got the drop downs here for the team. So you just select your fixture that you're interested in. Like this is completely random. I don't know what this is. This is auto calculated. So these are the expected goals. It's not the same as the expected goals that you see in a lot of the um, on a lot of websites and that Sky Sports have started using. So. It, it's not exactly the same as that it's just something that drives Poisson um, so as you can see this changed as we as we adapted that we've got our five top scores there highlighted and bold and underlined um, and then down here we've got the value odds so it's the percentage chance of each team winning so it's just the home teams is this added up the away teams this and the draw is the sort of yellowy colour or beige colour through the middle so 2.1404 3.73 so what I would then do, if I was you, would be to copy and copy these, which I've just done. And then we're done here. Now we head over to the fixtures and betting. So you did not put in Leicester Villa. So this is where most of the changes have been made now. Um, and it's a set template, so it's already, you know, there's placeholders there, Man City, Liverpool, and these £10 bets. You don't need to worry about those. These are all going to be changed. So we select our... Select our fixture. What was it? Leicester Villa. I told you I'm tired. So if we select Leicester Villa, so you do have to reselect it at the moment. This is the automation that I'm looking for. Um, the value odds are what were on the previous previous tab. So if we paste values only, so now we've got the the value odds that we've been given. So then you're going to type in the real odds. Now I don't know what the real odds are because it's a made up fixture. So what if we say? And I'm not going to try and even get them close I'm not bothered about the fixtures so what if we say this one is to 70 um, 350 and I don't know 3.00 just for the sake of argument um, and you'll see there that we've got the value odds because Leicester the value is 209 and the real odds we're getting a 270 we're getting that bold and underlined and that will happen with any selection that you put in for the real odds that is greater than the value odds so that's a nice touch that just shows you where the value is in your betting so then you skip over here to the correct scores so we're going to be looking back at what the five scores were it doesn't really matter what order you put them in um, so what we've got here we've got 1-0 2-0 it doesn't actually this doesn't actually drive anything to be honest now we're going to put the scores in that were on the previous tab so one nil two nil what else was on there one nil two nil nil one 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 oh, that's annoying isn't it nil one 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 and what was the other one um two one okay so that that doesn't necessarily, that's not going to change anything, like I say. So, obviously, for these scores, you're going to have different odds um, with whatever bookmaker you're using. I'm using Betfair when I'm doing any of my trading, but 
So 1-0 might be 9s, 2-0 uh, might be 10. Again, I'm not doing, I'm not bothered what they are. Obviously, not really. See 12, and then 13, and then you'll see that it hasn't updated to anything, and that's because you need to put your total stake up here. I thought it had broken. Then I left this at zero for the for the sake of the um, template. See your total stake. So if you put 20 quid in there. It'll say this is what you want to touch on each score line. If you put 30 quid in there, it'll tell you that's what you need to touch. So you can see it works and tells you what price you're looking at and what, what touching you're looking at. Um, I haven't done the equal profit yet, that's going to be added in, so it'll also tell you what the equal profit is. Um, so, and it'll be the same for each, you can do each one. You see, these haven't changed, so there's I'll show you what actually has happened is over here, so you don't need to worry about this and, and I don't want you to change it as you can see. I've basically done a dutching calculator and I've replicated it sort of 10 times. So you've got 10 or 11 fixtures, I don't know how many it is. So there's a, a dutching calculator for each fixture and that's like that on each tab. So there's like a ton of um, calculators on each tab. And that's because currently I can't get the dutching calculator to refresh each time and save the results it it needs to have its own sort of its own set of data to keep it to keep it showing so um that's what that's doing over here so actually while you're here i can show you so for equal for the equal profit we're gonna want um the sum of um one of the one of the payouts times one of those um, minus your stake. So if you're betting 30 quid, your equal profit would be 34.90 regardless of which result comes in. Um, so yeah, so that's that's it. That's it. So what I would suggest doing is what which is how I use the system because I obviously use it myself is I'll be looking you know on a on a Friday uh, I'll be thinking well I'll put the Premier League fixtures in tomorrow so I'll be selecting the Premier League fixtures here so they're all sort of you know ready for me to go um, and then I'll be running each one through through here and then adding my data and then I'll have a nice list of a nice list of fixtures here showing me which ones are good for dutching and you can tell which ones well it's up to you which ones you want to use but my personal preference is to go for ones where i know they're going to be low scoring a lot of the time so i'll be looking at one nils one nil 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 one one and two one to one of the teams like that but that's your that's your own preference but i find it quite useful to have a list of all my fixtures here with my Poisson distribution being calculated and my dutching so I hope that gives you a bit of an insight into how I would suggest using it, how I've built it. Again, it's the same for each, um, taking a bit of a while to load because I've got so much data. It's the same for each of the leagues now. Um, there you go. So, and I've also gone through for each one and, you know, you've got your drop downs for each, each one now, whereas they weren't there before. Um, so for each fixtures and betting, You've got a diff you've got your drop down, so you don't have to ever type that in anymore. Um, and you've got again the same dutching calculators, but just don't bother straying over there because you'll mess everything up if you change any of the data. Right then, I'm knackered. I'm going to bed. I hope this helps. Um, any questions? Let me know.